Hi everyone. Last time we covered what the Canoe framework and why Backstage is the central platform for developers to increase efficiency and enhance their overall experience. In this video, we'll show you how developers can deploy applications to Kubernetes using Argo CD without ever leaving Backstage. Gopal Jayanth, DevOps architect at OpsMex, will give us a demonstration of Canoe-based Backstage for deploying e-apps. Now think about that for a second. No jumping between terminals, no switching tabs, no copy-pasting YAML into some CI pipeline. With Backstage acting as your internal developer portal, you get a single interface to manage your service catalog, generate templates, and, like we're about to show, trigger and monitor deployments via Argo CD. Let us start understanding the challenge faced by platform engineers and the DevOps team, and why we suggest they use canoe-based backstage. First, there's the issue of tool sprawl. Developers often jump between 5, 10, sometimes more different tools, just to deploy a simple feature. GitHub, Jenkins, Argo CD, Kubernetes dashboards, monitoring tools, ticketing systems, you name it. There's no single place to see what's going on, and all this context switching kills productivity. Second, there's tribal knowledge and lack of standardization. You want to create a new service. Good luck finding the correct doc or the right person who knows how things actually work. Every team does things a little differently and that inconsistency creates chaos, especially when people leave or change roles. Third, for new developers, onboarding becomes a nightmare. It might take days or even weeks to get your dev environment set up or figure out how to deploy something. And that slows down delivery across the board. Meanwhile, platform and infra teams get buried under support tickets. Can you provision this cluster? Can you set up monitoring? Can you check why my deployment failed? Instead of building scalable platforms, they end up as support desks. And finally, Without standardized ways to build and deploy apps, security often becomes an afterthought. Missing logging, outdated libraries, no audit trails. These are common in teams without clear guardrails. And when compliance teams come knocking, it's hard to prove you're doing things the right way. Now, Gopal, can you also share your experience and then provide the demo of Backstage and Argo integrations? Usually, a lot of companies have a lot of softwares uh, which are scattered all around, all in the organization. And if they are categorized and broken up into a domain and a system which contains many components, which are basically uh, software services uh, and APIs, which, which can be reused by other teams. And they also include resources like uh, clusters, S3 buckets, databases, etc. So, uh, if uh, these are all uh, recorded as uh, as YAML files, if you will, and uh, and put in GitHub, then uh, it's easy for a, for a developer to find out uh, uh, which component uh, does what and when it is mapped uh, to a group and a user, there is also accountability included there in this. So if you <clears throat> go deeper into Backstage, uh, there is a, a, another a piece of uh, uh, the catalog called uh, Software Template. Uh, these templates enable you to create uh, software components. So that's the demo I'm going to show you today. For example, an example template uh, is right here. So this template basically is used uh, to create an Argo CD application. And uh, it, um, it gives in two parameters, name and image. Uh, by image here, I mean a Docker image. <coughs> and uh, using this uh, templating action, it substitutes wherever these placeholders are for name and image and creates a repository, uh, publishes the contents. Uh, 
um, and then uh, creates an Argo CD application. So let's go here, and this is one uh, instance of our backstage. And this is what a home page looks like. These are all, all different parts of the catalog as shown here earlier, component, domain, group, etc. We are focusing on template today. And in this uh, template, uh, we have create a basic deployment. I so here I can, I can click on view source and look at the template and I can also launch the template when I launch the template it asks me for uh, for uh, two fields one is a name field I will say test app onboarding and I'll use this image and click on review and when i go ahead and do create it's generating the component remember component is part of the software catalog creating a repository publishing to the github repository creating an argo cd app and registers it so if i open in the catalog i'll see a new component with the same name test app onboarding so this is what, what the developer would see the developer would see uh, what kind of component it is and uh, what relationship uh, it has uh, to a system system is a bigger a larger uh, part of the catalog and who owns the uh, owns this component and what what part of the life cycle is it in, in this case it is in uh, in experimental and uh, we, we haven't integrated any ci cd or, or docs to this this component does not publish apis so these uh, we, we are not focusing on today we will be focusing on on kubernetes and see what happens here see the, in the local cluster this component has one pod which belongs to one deployment and one and one service which is of the type cluster ID. so one look here and and the developer can know without uh, uh, using kubectl or uh, other commands to go into the cluster and see what's happening also you you see this uh, argo cd overview tab frame if you will and if i click on that i get more in more information about that argo cd if i click on argo cd dashboard then i'll i'll be able to see much more information about the argo cd instance so if I clear all the filters, I, I see that there is a pod being deployed. Uh, sup suppose uh, I, I made a, and this is the, uh, if I go and click here, this is the source repository that was created. And here I, I do see manifests here, and there's a deployment YAML, which contains a deployment and a service. Now, if I go here and mess with the image here, say for example, instead of Nginx, I'll I'll put Nginx Bender. I'm just using some image which I know does not exist. So I'm going to commit these changes and go here to Argo CD and refresh this. And and the application has gone out of sync. And because auto sync is enabled. It is beginning to sync the application. Let's just give it a moment uh, to sync the application. Now the application is syncing, but it, it hasn't uh, come to healthy state. So it's still in progressing state. So let's refresh and see what's happening here. The deployment is still progressing. 
I'm going to refresh the page and I see that there is a new replica set created and a new app and the new app is uh, failing and if I look at the events it's failed to pull image but uh, if a user use, is using backstage he or she doesn't have to go there to find out what's happening they can go to their Kubernetes page and, and see that the same error shows up here so if I go here this is this is the old pod that's running and there's one pod, there are two pods. This is the old pod that was running, and the new pod is having image pull up, back off problems. So uh, having a backstage template and producing a component from backstage helps users find out what's going on with their with their pods and uh, with their application in Argo CD without ever uh, fully uh, leaving the backstage uh, internal development portal. So that is the advantage of using backstage, which is up, which is recommended by Kanu, which is being followed by OpsMX uh, as a framework and recommending uh, uh, these particular uh, opinionated open source tools for people to use uh, uh, for their uh, software shop. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Gopal Jayanthi. I hope you have a way to use Backstage, a central developer platform, to deploy your apps using Argo CD. It saves a lot of time and enhances the developer's experience. If you want to learn such exciting topics, then subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates like this.